Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am dyeing some more fabric. This time I'm going to use my Distress Sprays. And what you're looking at right now is just a bunch of scraps that I have been collecting. They are primarily cotton, um, old sheets and curtains. There are a few uh, blends in there that may or may not take color. We shall see. And I put them in this tub and got them wet and then I'm going to squeeze them out before I put them on there because that way the sprays should activate a little faster without me having to use so much color to saturate it. And I wanted to do this today because it is beastly hot here in California and it's going to we're under like a fire watch kind of thing. So I figured why not take advantage of the hot weather to uh, get some color on fabric and then get them outside because it seems like the distress sprays take forever. All right, so, and I'm putting paper down because you know, I could always use more colored paper. And I'm just going to kind of, that'll kind of soak up some of the excess too. So we shall see. We shall see. Hope everybody's doing well today. I don't know when I'm going to get this one posted. I am trying to work ahead of things. Let's see, because... We know me, what are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with green. I'm trying to figure out if I have a system here. I don't have a system yet, but maybe by the time I'm done, I'll have a system. I am spraying up. And then the other thing that's good about these is when you get to the bottom, you can just do it like that. Might be a little bit left in there. And some mowed lawn. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? No, that was twisted citron. Mowed lawn. Some of the sprayers are dying. Also got some old glimmer mists that I'm going to dig out eventually. And let's add some crushed olive because it always makes things look better in my opinion. All right. And some more water. Get things moving around. My good old dollar store cookie sheets and let's just pick things up mush it up sop it up now the fun thing about doing this is of course there's no smell like you would have on the uh, alcohol inks but gosh I don't know why this stuff seems to take forever to dry no matter what I do it on all right, I think I'm going to just leave that kind of crumpled up. And let's grab something else that might look good in green. I don't know what this is going to do. This is a blend of something. Oh, and it looks like it's got some um, repellent on it. So this might not go so well. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we can write this one off. Look at that. It just repels it right off. Well, I cut the label off of it, so I didn't know what I had there. I don't think that's going to take anything. And it's probably not going to take it on the back either. Well, that's a great big fail, isn't it? Let's see. Now we need to sop that up. Uh, we can take this one, oh, which is actually two pieces, and let's just sop it up with this. No exact science. If you're one of these people that really plans out what colors you're putting where, this will probably be like fingernails on a chalkboard to you. But for me, it's not. It's pretty blissful. Well, that was gathered twigs. I like that color. I do not have a lot of brown, so that's good. Wow. Fail on that upholstery material. My last batch, if you saw my Fabmo video, I was looking only for the natural materials, so I think they'll dry a lot differently. It's got a lot of green. Let's add a little bit of that gathered twigs to this mess, too. You know, and we just never know until these things dry 
what they're going to look like. I forgot to bring some paper towels over. This could get interesting. <laughs> this could get very interesting. And I don't mean that in a good way. We shall see. Somehow, it all works out, right? All right, since we already started on this and this, let's get it off my hands. All right, I didn't spray it out or squeeze it out. Crushed all of this one's also getting to the bottom. So I do like this color though. It's just kind of like a, well, an olive green with some brown tones or maybe olive green has brown tones by nature. I don't know. I think that one is pretty dead. So let's add some mowed lawn. And I'm not intentionally trying to get anything on the paper. I just figure it's a good way to sop it up and then I can tear it apart and use it for collage. And that's kind of bright compared to what I wanted there. Uh, shoot. Where's my browns? Brushed corduroy. Let's see what we've got with that. Yeah, that's brown. Definitely brown. Zoe is at my feet here observing what's going on. Mainly the reason I rub these things up together, crunch them up like that, is that I don't want perfect dots where things have sprayed. I don't like that. <clears throat> that perfect look, even though I know I'm going to cut these things up and piece them together into something else. So yeah, I'm trying to make ahead a bunch of videos so that I can then put my head down and do work. And at this point, depending on when this video gets up, I have not finished the giveaway journal, which will be um, being made on the camera and you know, I neglected to think about telling people that <clears throat> what that means is that I'm making it and I haven't done, you know, there's no way to sign up for the video for the giveaway yet because it's not done. I may or may not like this. And when I'm not sure if I'm going to like something, I add yellow. Because light green, yellow makes me happy. And let's give it some more water to... Do its thing. Ah, my sprayer. Ah, oh, this one doesn't want to spray nicely. I'm gonna have to go get my small sprayer. I see a pause in my future for a sprayer and paper towels. All right. Let's do another one. And I don't know what's gonna happen with the dark fabric and the Distress Sprays. It gave me some nice texture on my um, alcohol ink ones, but let's see what happens with the darker fabric and the Distress. So we've got two shades of green. Let's just see if we can get some brown in there. More twisted citron. Empty that bottle out. Add some more water. Just water to the edge. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pause and go get my other sprayer. I forgot this was the wonky sprayer. Um, Fossilized amber. I'll overspray with that. All right, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to pause this and get a couple of other things. Okay, I am back. I went and got my fine mist sprayer, makes a big difference on this. And some paper towels just in case because I'm kind of klutzy. The messier something is, the more of a klutz I seem to be with it. All right, let's get get some more fabric on here. These are, again, these hems from curtains and sheet sets. And they're just a really nice small width to dye and then use 
in stitching and other projects. Uh, there we go. All right, let's see if I can stay in tones of brown. Okay, don't laugh. I am going to try and stay. Ah. All right, so this one's about done too. Okay. Some nice big blotches there. All right, and that definitely needs water. Ah, yeah, much better sprayer. Much better. So you don't get nearly as much of a spread as you do with the alcohol inks. And most of the time that is just fine. All right, we have lighter brown. So are these kind of videos boring? Are they okay to watch? I mean, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing, and you just go right on by. Let's see, this is gathered twigs, which is kind of dark. With a little bit of red, it looks like. And this one's about empty, so let's see if we can use this up. Squeeze lemon. I don't know what's going to happen when we mix that with the brown. That is what's cool about these formulas. You just don't know what's going to happen as the various ones mix together. way too much brown there so let's grab this wad of really narrow stuff I just ripped it kind of almost like a um, it could be used for a tie on a journal but let's just let that start soaking some of that up what else can we add in there spiced marmalade okay yeah So again, like the um, alcohol inks, these will dry lighter, and I will do a show and tell after they're dry. As I said, I want to take advantage of the super hot weather because these should dry pretty fast outside today. It is pretty beastly. Uh, what's going to happen with this linen, but that will help sop up some of this dark, dark brown. It's kind of Halloween-y colors, huh? Had not thought about that. But it is towards the end of September, which does not seem possible to me. This year has gone by so fast. Okay, let's get some more in there. Get that kind of dingy, grungy. That's what I'm looking for. Grunge, grunge, grunge. Because then when you tear it apart and do something else with it, you are perpetually, or at least in my case, I am perpetually surprised. Rusty hinge, I like that one too. All right. Just a little bit more of that. Kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, like that. Like that. All right, these are some good autumn colors. Yeah. We'll see how these are going to dry. Is that good enough? Do I want to try some green in there? Are you screaming at the screen and saying, no, 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 don't do it? Maybe just a little bit. Okay, but not like that. Ah, Got to remember that that one doesn't squirt nice. Yeah, so now that we've done that, might as well see if we can give it more. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. All right. But we'll see what it's going to die like. I don't know. All right. That's probably enough of that color. Are you bored yet? Please say no. If you shout it really, really loud, I can hear you. Okay, maybe not, but it's fun to pretend. It's fun to pretend that I'm not doing this all by myself in a vacuum. Because so many of us do that, you know, we're, we're working at home in our little rooms on our, all by our lonesome. Uh, let's just kind of add some of these strips. I'm going to have some more little ones because they also leave marks. Okay, we're going to stop. Okay, I have orange, I have green. I want more green. I always want more green. I can never have enough green. I really can't. I also have some of the metallics, which I have not 
played with yet. I just took the labels off of them, so that will be kind of fun. Oh yeah, these shades of green. Love so much. Whoops. That would be me estimating that the counter I'm working on was longer than it really is. Surprise! Oh, that was a cue for Zoe. <laughs> All right, I can't do this one because that one's got the word squirts. And we're going to add bundled sage. Oh, not much left in this one either. All right, so these are ones that I need to pour because they're acting funky. Zoe oddly thinks that she's going to get to go outside. And let me tell you, girl, not happening. It is already so hot, even though it's still morning here. We don't have that many super, super hot days, but this is one of them. This is interesting, the way the drops are staying on this fabric. It's really, really lightweight fabric, so I don't know how it's going to dry. It'll be interesting to see. Right, let's just give it the sweat, and then that should weep over. It'll give us a nice little line, huh? Get it nice and wet. Actually, this would be a good use for my... <clears throat> Other squirt bottle. Somebody must have gone by. Zoe is very insistent that she wants to go O-U-T. I know she doesn't need to do anything because we were just doing that before I came on. All right, that's another thing of green. Let's see. This is kind of an off-white. Whoops, forgot to wipe off my hands. This might be more green. Um, if it's going to be more green, then let's bring this big green one in. Yeah. So it's just a nice bright green material, but kind of boring, right? All right, so this is the one that's going to sputter. It's going to work on this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This really looks like tie-dye kind of stuff. Also is reacting kind of like alcohol ink, but of course you don't get much of a bloom. All right, let's just take the stopper out and dab a few places. Yeah, it really helped having the water, having the fabric wet before I started spraying. I like that. This one section that does not want to, nope, doesn't want to squirt. Shoot. This is just a bum sprayer, and it does happen sometimes, and I could switch it to another bottle, but the bottle's almost empty, so I'm going to be okay with it. All right. Get a little bit of that color off my hand before I grab my water bottle. That's kind of interesting. Is it perfect? No. But it's going to give me tones of green, which when working with landscapes will be really good. So let's add something lighter. Let's see if we can get some other tones mixing in there. So you don't always have to start off with white. You just don't know what you're going to get when you start playing around with these. So why not play? Have a good play. I don't know how long to make these videos. Maybe I'll go like an hour. Consider it like a craft with me. Spray with me. 
All right, layers of green. Just like if I was doing my um, spray impressions, my distress spray impressions with my leaves. It's the same kind of an idea that I'm going for here. All right, let's just sop up a lot of this green. And then we'll do some other colors because I do know not everybody is as crazy about green as I am. Hard to believe. I'll kind of wrinkle this up and just see what it's going to do. I'll lay that one on top of it. Now, again, it doesn't look super exciting right now, but, ooh, what if we take, what do we got here? Tarnished brass. It's really, really wet right now. Let's see what happens. Ooh, it doesn't want to spray nice, but <gasps> look at that. Is that not yummy? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So does this spray with water as well, or spread? We will see what happens when it dries. Potential, it's all about the potential. Okay, that looks kind of yummy. Zoe could not get any closer to me if she tried, my goodness. She's got her head in between my feet here. Oh, that was something from before. Okay, this is some netting that didn't do really well with the tea dyeing, so it must have a lot of polyester in it, but let's see if I can get any of the sprays to work on it. And my yellows. Mustard, that's pretty. Add some water. If you hear a big boom, it's because I fell over because I tripped over my big dog. <laughs> she does not usually lay like this, so my guess is that she heard some kind of a noise. She is super sensitive to um, scary noises, and there is construction going on in the area. And we live in the top, at the top of a hill, and there's lots of valleys around us, so the sounds carry rather oddly for her. And she is not a fan. All right, I did not mean to get that quite so orange, but I can always over dye it with something else, and I don't know how light that's going to come out anyway. Let's see. Do I want to mush it? Mush it, mush it, mush it. I think I do. I think so, and I can wipe off some of it on paper because, you know, why let all that color go to waste, right? All right, I don't know if the mushing is going to do a lot of good on this because, like I said, it's real it's polyester. But there is color there, which is holding better than it did with the tea dyeing. Hmm. I feel like I want to put something else on it. But I don't know. Maybe a slightly darker. It's pretty dark. Pretty dark. One that is dark. Great burlap. Oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, and let's add some more water where we sprayed. This was curtain material, and it had just a really neat nebby texture, but you know, I wouldn't be buying something like that again because I'm really trying to stay with more natural fabrics now going forward. All right, let's see. Linen, it's already got a splotch of purple on it, so maybe it's telling us to do some purple. Um, have a bit of, yeah, do some of the little ones. And, oh, that might work. This was another part of a curtain. So I had that hem I took apart. All right, let's try that with the purples and pinks. When I was younger, I was nuts for purple and could not have enough of it. I had a purple bedspread in my room for many years. It was actually made out of fake fur because that was the thing back in the 70s. 
I don't use a lot of purple now, but maybe I should. I forgot these react really nicely. I had re I remember that now when I use these with the leaf sprays. Adding a little bit of yellow and some water. Okay, that curtain is going to have some neat texture on it. Hmm. I'm going to cut up some more of that maybe and do it with greens and browns. That would be great textures for a landscape. Uh, I like that a lot. Yeah, I might as well get my paper mostly colored. Mostly. Oops, see, I missed a spot. And here, so let's get those back. We had um, kind of mumbling, huh? Mumbling, mumbling. All right, now we're going to add a lot of water. Even though I know it's going to dry lighter. And add some yellow to this one. We're going to see what we can get with that. I think that's going to dry pretty neat. Okay, uh, so let's see, one more maybe on film, and then I will do the rest of these off camera. So this was, some, was a sheet I found that had writing on it. How cool is that, huh? How cool is that? All right, I do think I want this, though, to be more natural, so I'm going to go back to my browns. And it's all cotton, so it should take really nicely. And I didn't dig it out of the closet, but I also have a sheet I found that has nothing but um, music symbols on it. So very, very cool. Just a little bit of the darker. Just a little bit. Looks like ink spilled. Spilled ink. Ink spilled. You knew what I meant. You knew what I meant. Okay, I'm going to add this frayed burlap, which is kind of like a slaty color. All right. And this one can use my other water. It doesn't, doesn't matter because I'm going to scrunch it all up. All right, let's scrunch this up and get that color everywhere. Yeah. So it should make the text kind of fade into the background. Yeah, this is going to be good. So I have a big king-size sheet that I found with all this text on it, which was just wonderful. So now you can't see much of the text now, but trust me, when it's done drying, you will see it. What color didn't I do? I didn't do any blue. Okay, I'll do a blue on camera, and then I'll stop and do the rest of it, because I still have a lot of fabric to do. And, and I'm sure y'all don't want to sit there and watch me. Spray, spray, mumble, mumble, spray, mumble, mumble. I don't like that sheet. There we go. Uh, okay, this is kind of a yellow orange. Again, this is another, you can tell I cut it from a sheet. This is the hem, the, the top hem. Did you pull up under your chin when you were going to sleep? All right. Let's just try. All right, we've got. What is this? This is antique bronze. Mm, might want something else on top first, huh? Let's do... Okay, my crushed olive is always a winner for me. Oh, This sheet here, this was like a really, really faded green of some kind. Okay, I'm going to like this a lot, I can already tell you. All right, and then this is the yeah, antique bronze, which has a funky sprayer on it. Darn it, and it's a brand new bottle. hate that when that happens. And water. Hmm. I'm not spreading like I might like. These guys might do better mushed up. Let's mush them up. And we're going to mush this one up. Mush them up together. Color the paper. Because who knows? Who knows? All right. It's got some of the copper. And 
Maybe I'll grab, or that has some of the bronze. I'm going to grab the copper, I think, which has a slightly better sprayer. You can, start, you can see the sparkle already, though. Can't wait to see what that's like dry. I haven't done these on, on paper with these metallics yet. I'd totally forgotten that I'd grabbed them. Somebody online must have had them on sale. Okay, I'm going to throw all these guys outside to dry in our hot, hot sun. And then when they're all dry and ironed, I will bring them back in and show you. But I'm also, I've got, my tub is still full of fabric. And rather than let the camera go and go and go, I am going to do that part off camera. And, and I will bring it all back to show you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and my other videos, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I will see you next time. Bye for now.